you got a crossbow? <laughs> Took that to the face. Where's my kick? Okay, didn't need a kick. Oh, that was the guy. Oh, okay, we just looped around. That was the guy that was messing with me. Is he still alive? Knowing my luck, he's got a weapon. He, he actually gives you the crossbow. He is down here. You dork. Give me that. Swirl. You got a swirl on him. Nothing? All right, fine. He survived that fall. So have you guys watched like streamers play and like totally miss this beginner cave and then like complain that they have no idea what they're doing? <laughs> I can see that easily happening easily because it's so obvious to go through the door, right? It was like much less obvious to drop down until I realized what he was saying. Oh, you could remember your skills as a warrior if you go down here. Yeah. I think I would have had a pretty good idea of what's going on, but then again, I didn't, I don't know what else they're going to teach us, so. Skills. Armaments have special abilities called skills, like this. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using skills consumes FP. Oh, okay. So I may use FP after all, even if I don't have a spell. Oh, there's charge fourth. That's charge fourth. That used half of my FP bar. Yeah. Got it. So is there any loot in all the boxes around? So if it's, I don't know. If it's like the Dark Souls games, there was never loot in anything that you break, but there could be stuff hidden behind things that you break. Yeah. Oh, I did it again. I just wasted. This is parry. Okay. Crouching. Crouching makes it harder for your enemies to discover you, especially effective in tall grass. Attacking an enemy that hasn't noticed you will cause more damage than usual. See, crouching is new too. Hello. Yes, we know how much I love stealth. Stealthing's my favorite. Get out of here. I don't like you. Can I not squeeze in there? Wait, what are they showing me in there? What's in there? What's in there? You're gonna see in there. What is in there? There's water. I see water. Stance breaking. Some attacks uh, may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Hold R2, charge attack. R2 while jumping is a jump attack. I do a charge attack. It says hold L2. A 
I want to I want to bring that tutorial back on the screen. R2. Yeah, R2. R2 just does this. How do I do a charging attack? That's the charging attack like that? All right. So, I guess that's it. It's in your inventory? With the inventory menu, you can browse items you're carrying, drop them on the ground, or throw them away. Okay. What about D2? He's right out. You've heard numerous people unbind Crouch because crouching also causes another action you'll learn later in the game, which people disliked. All right. Hmm. Oh, all these gestures are still here. Oh, no, I didn't. I, I took them out. All right. Oh, like that. Okay. Stakes of Marika. Upon dying, you'll be revived at the latest, the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there is a state of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Oh, okay. Uh, Fry's Yeller? Fry's Yeller? Thanks for following. Welcome. I hope I didn't butcher that name. So it's a checkpoint without having to put another bonfire in. Okay. What happens if you... Nothing. Good. Just checking. Okay. Time to sit all properly. What? What is this? Is that my water bottle? It is. Okay. Perfect. In fact, I'm going to have some water. Soldier of Godric. You can perform a counter attack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy stance. R2 immediately after blocking a count attack. So I don't have to parry to do that? All right. Ooh. I don't know. Didn't feel so epic. Guard counters are OP. So is that so that's different than other Dark Souls? Um I keep crouching when I don't want to. I can see why they unguard it. You love guard counters? So is it just like a normal block you don't have to parry? Okay, so it's just block and then R2. Yeah, block R2. No timing required. Okay. I guess I'll see what that's like. You'll get a satisfying sound if you do it correctly. Is it like... Pfft? That'd be great. Oh, we're back. We're back to the original place. Nice. And new emote. New emote strength. Wait a minute. Is there a way? Wait. Is there a way to get that purple thing? Wait, wasn't there like an overhang with a purple thing? That I said, oh, I want to get that purple thing. No. Hmm. That was back a room, though. Seemed like it would be up here, though. You guys know what I'm talking about? That other treasure? You do know our claim?
Yeah. That's something before I jump down. I don't know. Tell me, tell me this, gang. Are hidden rooms in this? Uh, do you have to just roll into them, or do you actually have to strike it with your weapon? You can roll into it if there's one. Okay. Oh, that's awesome, Fox. I think the purple thing was above him when he was talking to the guy in the chair. I already got... I got that. I, I got that item. But I thought there was another one back a ways. But, oh well. I'll just go. I could be misremembering. Down over here. Oh, see, it is. It's up there. See, look. That's what it was. Where? It looks like it would, it would be part of where we came from in the tutorial there, right? Oh well, it's too late now. Is that worth getting? It's killing me leaving that behind. Oh. Touch the grace. It's the key to the game, oh no. Let's rest, get our charges back. Um, wonder if we should put one flask over there for the FP. Yeah, not yet. It's the plus five re render. So you don't feel bad. All I can say is you can't get it yet. Okay, well, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to know. So then I can rest and not worry about it. Use stone sword key. I don't think I have one of those, but sure. <laughs> Look at the way he checked his butt. Where, where, where would I put that? <laughs> Pillage remains. Cooperative multiplayer. Use tarnished furled finger to write a gold summon side. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally, furled finger, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction. Yeah, so you can play, you can do some of this co op. Another finger, finger severer. Tarnished furled finger. I now have three fingers in my inventory. Oh, that looked like a secret door and a half right there. Fingers are kind of a thing somehow. Okay. There's a lever. Turning off all the lights. It's probably unwise. All 
All right. Well, I've checked all the walls. And away we go. This game seems very peaceful so far. Barefoot with pot shards on the floor. I know we're pretty we're pretty brave. Limgrave. It is the land of Limgrave. I can't wait to explore every inch of this. Oh my god. Hey, 1v1, what's up? Are those birds? They look like birds. Wait, can I sneak up on them? Hey, Michigans, what's up? What if they're good birds? feel terrible about that a flight pinion what is a flight pinion <laughs> where would i go to to see all my pinions <laughs> is there a, like crafting material screen inventory oh yeah material used for crafting items found by hunting birds okay game multiplayer like can me and four friends jump together not four i think you and one other or two other is it two other yeah it's not like a full like co-op experience though like you can summon people to help with certain hard fights on bosses and stuff like that yeah Wow, this is so I feel this feels so different than the other from software games like just right here like so many different ways you can just go. What is that thing? Oh man. And that thing's got crafting materials. Yeah. Yeah, no, I turned the messages off. I I don't I don't I haven't played any of any of the Dark Souls Soulsborne games with online mode on. I don't like reading all their messages from random people. What is that? Is that somebody's head? Sneaky birds. Another flight pinion. Oh, I didn't make that was there before I got here. That was definitely there already. Oh, that is a skull. It was a head.
summoning pools and each area you might find effigies of martyrs these effigies are summoning pools you'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather okay something i don't need to worry about okay row of fruit Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along your way. Why, do, why are the skulls kickable? Ooh, a map they have a map for once they never have maps use your map to check your current position as well as the terrain and surrounding structures you can upgrade the map with new information by finding map fragments at stales along the road you can also use the map to freely to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore With the map menu, you can check your current position and terrain and buildings in the surrounding area. You can also freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Lastly, through your map, you can select any site of grace that you've discovered and travel there instantaneously. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Okay. First step. Stranded Graveyard, Cave of Knowledge. Okay, so these are the places I can teleport to. And what is this little thingamadoodle? Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Famished! Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Yes. Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. I need an invitation to the round table hold? Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace, the golden light that gives life to you tarnished? You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace. A path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Drafted. Castle Stormvale? Is that what they called it? All right. You don't like this guy? We just met him. All right, anything else? It's time you set off, I should think. Okay. To Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. That up there? 
That's where you want me to go? That's so far. That doesn't seem like the first step. I don't understand the skull thing. Oh. Oh, a golden rune? Hello. Why are you bringing that in here? I'm no. Let's Just leave the door open. It's fine. No one's going to hear the noise that you make. Um, what did I just get? I don't know. The skulls be loot? I guess so. Oh, the rune. Rune Rune was just uh, more souls. It's a consumable item? Okay, so it's going to have souls in it, right? Oh, oh, that was a leap. Oh, look, more eagles to kill. You see this? Isn't this crazy? Like, what is this? Absolutely yeah. What's that big thing in the distance? I don't know. It's a guy on a horse, and he looks like he's going to kick my ass. You should go towards it. And there's sheep. It's so weird to, like, gather in a From Software game. It's a very cool. That guy is a good guy, right? No. Rush him. Rush him! You're a good guy, right? Nothing in this game is good. Hello, sir. Can I have your horse? Hello, good sir. Good sir. Holy shit. I really didn't think that was a bad guy. I didn't think it was a boss. The tree sentinel? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. That was your fault. I think I might have just caused the first death. I can outrun him. He's only on a horse. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Stay down there. Ooh, flowers. And stay away. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. All right. That was, uh, that was something. Oh, did he just teleport back up there? Okay. All right, we leave him alone. We leave him alone. I don't think I can beat that. <laughs> Your survival instincts are better than most people. Say, what do you mean? Most people would try to fight that? All right, so how important is it to beat, to kill wildlife? Ruin fragment. Yes, most people do try and fight that. Yeah, that didn't seem beatable. It's too much of a ramp up from like crappy skeletons to that. Um, Ruin fragment. Material used for crafting items. That's going to be a lot of things, isn't it? Stone fragment found near places where ruins have fallen can be used to crafting or supply. But oh, you can simply throw it at enemies. Okay. Oh, nice. 
You ran in naked with your club and hit him? This is the beginning area. How bad can it be? I don't think there is a beginner area. I think my 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 impression of how this is going to work is it's more of an open world game than any of the other souls games and with that in mind they made it so you could totally wander to the wrong place and if you wander to the wrong place you're gonna get your ass handed to you and you gotta go somewhere else and find new weapons and level up and come back later earn leaf Okay, so I'm almost at the castle. There's the castle they wanted me to go to. Castle Stormvale. It's right there. We're so close. These rabbits? Rabbits and sheeps? They're gonna have stuff we need. Oh, look, what? We... I want... I want ghosts to do that in real life. Do it. Do it. Do the little rolly thing. Oops. Do the rolly thing. Oh, there's nothing in that head. Some heads have nothing in them. They're trying to roll to escape. Yeah, even they try to roll to escape. Yeah, look, we do it too. Yes! That was awesome. All right. For science, I got to see what they drop. They give you five runes. Thin beast bones. Whoever decided on that animation deserves an award. I know, right? That was fantastic. I don't even know how the crafting is going to work in this. Like, is that something that is going to interest me or annoy me? Thin beast bones. My sense of wonder right now is... Maximum. crazy cool what is that all right there's a guy with a torch over here let's go see let's go see what's up hello it's guy with a torch is there for real crafting that's what i'm getting crafting materials for okay Oh, there's more guys over here. Hi. That guy's running. That's the uh, counter, right? Row of flute, fruit, elder, elder, early flower. Oh, they are hiding. Wow. Hey, Joe, what's up? Interesting. They make me feel bad. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, they give you 23, which is not nothing. Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. The number and type of flask to re replenish varies depending on the enemy group. You cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allowed. That's cool. Okay. 